So guys, I wasn't going to make a video today at all until I seen this. And you all have to see this. It's pretty funny. This is CNBC. This is Kramer, right? AMC. We do not want AMC. AMC is not doing well. We want stocks that go higher. The consumer is not going to the movies like they used to. Kramer. <laughs> Kramer, why would you say this? Everyone knows what happens when you talk about a stock, right? <laughs> Kramer. Anyways, I came to the AMC Theaters website, okay? And these are the movies coming out in 2024. I mean, take a look at some of these. I'm not going to name them all, but I mean, look at these titles, all right? Quiet Place, Deadpool 3, Aliens, I want to see, Beetlejuice, Joker, number two, Gladiator 2. I mean, look at all these movies coming out just this year. You know, I don't like to talk about earnings. I don't like to talk about what the CEO is going to do. I don't like to talk about any of that stuff. So I like to see the chart, right? The chart's going to tell me some things. So the first thing we notice, obvious downwards wedge pattern, right? We've been on a downtrend now for about three years. And the bottom of the wedge has touched multiple times since 2020. Multiple touches down here, right? The top has been held down by this wedge kind of here. I'm not counting these blow off tops again. I don't care about this. When I go to line graph, I can show you that there's been multiple touches on the way down uh, on these bounces, and there's been multiple touches where it was resistance and it couldn't go higher. I mean, the way I can explain this is that AMC up here was multi billions in, in the multiple billions, right? So it was very hard to keep an upwards trend and to break this trend line, maybe from even here. It was hard to break the trend line when the stock's already in the multi-billions, right? So hypothetically, AMC is you know 1 billion now market cap. So a trend could break much easier with a little bit of money. Over here, a trend cannot break as easily because it requires a lot more money. You understand? So this is the reason why it respected this trend line here, okay? Okay, so now zooming in a little so we can get up close. See, this trend line's been respected for a long time. Um, and the top trend line has been respected multiple times, like I showed. Um, down here, we're going to get to a point where there has to be a decision made. I don't know if it's going to be earnings. I don't know if earnings going to have a, a role in that or whatever. I don't know if some kind of market correction might have something to do with it. I don't know what's going to happen. There could be many outside factors that, you know, influence a stock's movement, like I said in my last video. Um, but all I know is that the closer we get to the end of this trend, there has to, something has to happen. Something has to happen by April or May, you know, coming into summer here with all these movies coming out and everything. Okay. I'm not going to tell you to go long or go short. You have to understand if it breaks this, I mean, really, are we going to go to zero? <laughs> if it breaks this and AMC goes bankrupt and it, you know, goes into the pennies here, I mean, we're screwed either way. Everyone's screwed, right? But if it does break out here and start tracing up, I have marked some levels that would be interesting, okay? So before I go to the levels, I wanted to show you one more thing. So something's got to happen here, right? April, May, June maybe a little bit after earnings. I want you to also look at this. This is the 200, right? When you break, you either hit and bounce off the 200 and you go down, or you break above the 200, you keep it as support. And if that happens and we break this trend, that's been a three-year trend at least, I mean, this move could be big, right? I'm not trying to give financial advice. I'm not trying to tell you to go along. This is just all hypothetical, okay? So what I want you to see here is that this move could be pretty big from the start, you know, 
if we start going up, the first move could be 100%, right? The second move could go through all of this extremely quick, okay? This is like, this is like butter here. There's not a lot of anything holding it back here. So if apes, <laughs> if the apes and the people that really love this stock buy this, and I'll probably be one of them, not financial advice. If this level breaks here, this $11 level, this 35 is extremely, probably extremely easy to get to because there's nothing to hold it back. Now, you know, hypoth I mean, look at these numbers going back up to 1,500%, okay? 15 times what it is now. Why is this level here important to me? Why did I mark that? Well, that's, it's probably never going to happen, right? But I wanted to show you something. From the beginning of time, from beginning of AMC, at this chart at least, I don't know if it goes back any further than this. I don't do enough research. Um, you can see that it's had massive runs above this line and a massive dump below it, right? So what I know is that it likes to go to somewhere of a mean, somewhere in the middle. It likes to meet somewhere in the middle. It's not going to be all the way at the top, all the way at the bottom. It's going to be somewhere in the middle. That's what I can see at least. So I think 75, I mean, this is ridiculous. Multi-billions again, multi-multi-billions again. But I'm saying if, if it squeezes or enough people get on board, I wouldn't be surprised if it could go to 74, $75, right? So just to recap, we're in a three-year-ish wedge pattern. And do not go long. Do not go short. Just wait. You have a while to wait. You can see what happens with this. You can see if the trend wants to break one way or another here, right? And when that time comes, you're not going to be in calls or puts from here. All this chop and all this is going to be massive decay to any of your, you know, call options or puts or whatever you want, right? So just wait until we have a clear break, maybe even a clear break and a retest, if it <laughs> if it ever will retest. Um, again, not financial advice, Kramer. You're hilarious. We need to follow this man's wisdom. Every time he talks, <laughs> we got to listen. So regardless if this trade plays out or not, and the bulls make a lot of money, I think we should all go to the theater with a bunch of bananas and our popcorn in our laps. And we should, we should all eat bananas and popcorn while watching these movies all year long. <laughs> this should be a trend, okay? If we make money, that's what we're doing. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.